to English in Pinellas County. Could this be what your home looks like after the next hurricane strikes? Many people thought a hurricane like Katrina would never really happen. If you had to evacuate, where would your family go? What would you take with you? The time to decide and the time to prepare is now, not when the order is given. Step one, get a copy of the family disaster plan. Discuss it with your family members so that everyone knows what to do when the time comes. These free resources are available from the National Weather Service or the American Red Cross websites. Step two, put together a supply kit. It should include a supply of water, one gallon per person per day, canned and boxed foods that won't spoil, at least a seven day supply of medications, a first aid kit, flashlights, and special items for infants, the elderly, and family members with any physical limitations. Step three, buy a NOAA weather radio, all hazards. It will broadcast warnings, watches, and forecasts 24 hours a day, every day, until a hurricane or other dangerous weather event is gone. Weather radios are sold online or at any store that sells TVs and radios. When the National Weather Service issues a hurricane watch, it means a storm with sustained winds over 74 miles per hour is a possible threat within 48 hours. Pull out that emergency plan and double check your kit. Install hurricane shutters, test your generator, and make sure you have enough fuel. Bring in patio furniture and any other loose items that could blow into windows. A hurricane warning means that the storm will hit your area in 36 hours or less. Once a hurricane warning is issued, it's time to sit tight. Do not leave your house. Hurricane force winds are extremely dangerous. Only when emergency managers tell you to evacuate, then do so immediately. Many people who stayed put during Hurricane Katrina were severely injured or killed. Pack up your pets, medicines, a deed to your home, and other emergency items, and get out. It's only a matter of time before a devastating hurricane hits the coast where you live. Make sure you are prepared. Powerful winds aren't the only deadly force during a hurricane. The greatest threat to life actually comes from the water in the form of storm surge. Storm surge is water from the ocean that is pushed toward the shore by the force of the winds swirling around the hurricane. This advancing surge combines with the normal tides and can increase the water level by 30 feet or more. Storm surge combined with waves can cause extensive damage. It can severely erode beaches and coastal highways. The pounding waves can take out boats and buildings. As the waters move inland, rivers and lakes may be affected and add to the rising flood levels. While we can't prevent storm surge, we do have a system that can warn us of the incoming threat. As a hurricane develops over the open ocean, forecasters at the National Hurricane Center closely monitor its path to evaluate the risk of a coastal strike. They use a computer model called SLOSH to predict storm surge heights. The model depends critically on the hurricane's track, intensity, and size. SLOSH uses water depths, land elevations, and barriers to the flow of water to compute surges as they move inland. This data helps determine which areas may need to be evacuated. When a hurricane slams our coast, it's important to be aware of all the dangers. As a reminder, emergency managers want us to run from the water and hide from the wind. 
Don't take unnecessary risks during a storm. Conditions can change in the blink of an eye. Storm surge is a dangerous event during a hurricane, where furious winds are driving deadly flows of water from our seas to our shores.